this is Shuttle Launch Control, T minus two hours, 54 minutes and counting, and our astronauts are all suited up and coming down the third floor of their uh, crew quarters area here at KSC and uh, entering the elevator where th they will go down to the uh, lower floor and be driven out to the launch pad. That's Charlie Precourt in the blue suit there. He'll be flying the shuttle training aircraft and the T-38 training aircraft evaluating our weather this afternoon. All events in today's launch countdown continue to proceed without any serious technical issues being discussed. We'll fly to the Space Shuttle Endeavor today, the 107th flight in shuttle history. And here come our crew members, led by Commander Dom Gorey, Pilot Mark Kelly, Linda Godwin, Dan Tani, Carl Waltz, Yuri Anyi Franco, and Dan Birch. Endeavour's mission is expected to last about 11 days and end with a landing back here at Kennedy Space Center on de December the 16th, shortly after 1 p.m. Also in the... accommodates the vertical loading of payloads into the orbiter's payload bay. The fixed service structure is 347 feet tall. And the orbiter access arm is at drop-in operations. Twelve, ten, nine, eight. We have a go for main engine start. Six, five, four, three, two, one. We have booster ignition and liftoff of the Space Shuttle Endeavor, pushing our goals skyward using our station in space. Houston now controlling the flight of Endeavor. Roll program. Roger roll, Endeavor. Endeavor into the roll, placing the shuttle in a heads down wings level position, the proper azimuth for the eight and a half minute ride to orbit. 30 seconds into the flight, Endeavour's three liquid fuel main engines now throttling back in a three-step fashion to 72% of rated performance, reducing the stress on the shuttle as it breaks through the sound barrier. Booster officer reports good solid rocket booster separation, 33 miles downrange, 31 miles in altitude, guidance now converging.